another revetting episode of our podcast Business Talks with Yunova. Get ready to supercharge your career growth as we dive deep into the world of strategic lateral moves with Dr. Yash Delewala sharing his perspective candidly. Yunova is the world's smartest HRMS brand revolutionizing HR process maturity through simplified automation. Dr. Yash De- Kalevala, a CHRO by profession, has over a decade's experience in IT and HR, building teams from scratch, advising the BOD and investors, having a global network in over 75 countries. He's a certified Scrum Master. He's currently President, People and Vibes Officer at Unada Labs Private Limited, Ahmedabad. He has over 11,000 followers on LinkedIn. That's pretty much a very big influencer on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm Biswini Podar, as you all know, your host for today's podcast. I'm the Chief Communications Officer at Unova. With over 12 years of experience, having worked in C-suit positions, I've successfully led multiple verticals from content and social media to marketing, PR and branding. I've also been a philanthropist and four times TEDx speaker, influencer, and the CCO. It's a pleasure to have you with us today, Yash. Let's dive deep into the podcast for an unforgettable discussion and leave a lasting impact on our audience. Welcome, Yash. Do you have any uh, few thoughts to share before we start? Uh, nothing. So I, I'm very thankful that you have given me this opportunity uh, to present uh, myself with Unova. Uh, basically, I understand that you are making into a very good smart uh, platform for helping the people like us uh, in the field of HR. And now, like as the tech is growing, we think that this kind of platform will might help us also uh, in our making our day-to-day life very easy. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's it's just how we expand, um, you know, via a collaborative approach and spread the word um, in terms of what we are doing as well as, you know, what's what's basically um, the trends in the HR space overall. And, and I'm very excited to be speaking to you today um, on a very interesting uh, uh, topic, which is lateral hiring or recruitment. Uh, right. And I'm very excited to uh, hear your insights as well. So Yash, lateral hiring or recruitment is uh, one of the latest buzzwords in the HR ecosystem. But can you tell me what is a lateral move for professionals like us and can you define it for our listeners today? See, when it comes to defining a lateral move, everybody gives a definition as per their own words. Uh, but according to the lateral hiring, when it comes to a lateral move, is something that finding a similar kind of a people what you are requiring from another companies or a set of companies or you know within the industry so let's say for example TCS or HCL so these are the competitors so they generally do the lateral hiring from each other so this is a kind of a hiring which you take place from another people to your organization supporting your particular needs or the skill sets which you are requiring have an industrial similarity I won't say that it will be 100% uh, the same, but a similar kind of a skill set which the people are having in your competitive edge. Uh, like phone pay and Paytm, as I already talked about, TCS, HCL, they have a similar kind of a similarity between a set of uh, uh, skill sets which is required for an entry level position or a developer level position. And after that, how the product grows, the skill sets get changed according to the product. Very truly said. Services industry, it's different. Uh, do you have any insights on that as well in terms of the service industry? Yes. Uh, in the service industry, what happens? Uh, the technology plays a vital role. Let's say, example, uh, uh, for the viewers, if I tell you, uh, if a person is uh, or a set of a company is deriving into Monstech, so they will always prefer those people who have worked in Monstech. Again, in Monstech, they have like a lot of people are using Express or uh, JS, which is a part of Monstech. Others are not using it. So those who are with the set of skill set which is required like ExpressGIS, MongoDB and all those things. So uh, it is similarly, if they get from the market, that will be the best suitable match for them. Again, in MongoDB or ExpressGIS when they are using the like Even in the sales industry, I will not specifically talk about IT because I've been in IT. 
but in the sales industry also uh, a product based selling company and services selling companies is a different skill set which is required so even in a product based if you are working on sales products that is sales as a service software so this particular products are very different from a normal services so selling a website is very different from selling a ui ux or selling a popcorn for example so selling a popcorn popcorn is a main product over here service in service industry service is a product. so the kind of people we need or a set of people we need are completely different from uh, industry to industry so when it comes to lateral hiring it is always advantage because you don't have to spend much on the training part that's the only reason why lateral hiring is taking place in the industry as a ready, ready for deployment i can say directly they can directly work on the projects absolutely so why do you think it is difficult to make a lateral move even when you think it is the right time specifically when i talk about it in it it's very difficult to move in lateral because uh, most of the companies have agreement or contracts with people for at least 2 years uh, you name the fortune 500 companies except uh, mr ashkin grover who has uh, moved to one of the uh, a set of industry which is working and then he made a paramet shift uh, and this in this shift which they made he said there's no contract from now on within my particular company but you name the company in fortune 500 they have a contract of 2 years with them so moving very fast is difficult second after that some competitors have an agreement between them that they don't poach people even it is lateral hiring example recent uh, adani and reliance has made this things so in the tech industry also a lot of people have this kind of a internal agreement we may not known to the little people or even to the uh, next level of hr only the cho or like people like me uh, knows about this agreement and the management knows about this agreements uh, even in a city called rajkot or ahmedabad or here to pune city is there in the tech uh, they have a similar kind of agreement because they have associations like uh, rajkot it association gujarat uh, it association pune it and software association so these people have an agreement that you will not uh, take people from my company i will not take your company so it's very difficult uh, for an individual to get a job from x company to y this is called as anti poaching agreement nowadays or anything similar which is being given in terms of uh, instead of lateral hiring in a negative context they phrase it that is called anti poaching agreements right amazing that was actually very uh, insightful however um yash every hiring strategy has its own pros and cons right so what do you think yeah. are the cons and pros of making lateral moves for career development especially for hr leaders and industry experts like yourself okay uh, when it comes to the people like us if we are moving from one organization to another organization in a same domain so we can expect a tremendous amount of hikes even in folds i will not say even in percentage it can be 2x 3x or 4x so ultimately whoever is working as an hr or as an vp hr or anything at the end of the day position doesn't matter it is something which what you take home for an individual like us it is not there but for the next generation it is always there the money makes the sweetest music which they say but for us position makes uh, one thing and second is the freedom of work so if we are going with another company with a lateral move we ask for something called as position and more than position we ask about the freedom of ours frankly speaking with you currently i am giving a podcast with you working with another organization right away of course with the approval of my current boss but that freedom should be there so that freedom makes a, a good for us after 10 years of experience because we know how much industry can pay and how much we can get so that is the thing so this is a, a own size when it comes there are a lot of cons as other people don't trust you. when they make competitor move they will think that when an hr is moving he will take the entire team you will see and you will find it out i will even uh, i don't want to name any company but we know a lot of companies in which once the hr has moved the entire team has gone because the first of all once the hr will move assistant hr uh, upper and down was director hr also moves with a set of a person who moved in the hr 
recently you might had seen lot of hr has put on the notice period uh, after 1st of april so the trend of hr resignation is going on so this trend we will see in uh, month of september october the entire companies are shifting because the moment the hr will shift the company will shift so at least we can expect a 30% change if your head of hr is good if he is good or he is not good this is a psychology which people do understand that uh, if i am an hr and i'm going to another company and having a similar kind of a position or anybody who is came in my company and i will ask referral he will only refer those people whom he know it very well so internal that's why it's called referral you recommend only those people whom you know perfectly so i've been working with someone for 5 7 8 years i was recommending them that's a easy go so that's what happens in the mature industry as well so that's the only reason why a lot of hr like mr vinay uh, loves to the head of hr of finance industries from us uh, like 20 years he's working in the same company that is the reason why reliance don't want to make him move even to a different vertical forgot about uh, he's into oil and gas segment he will be there only. otherwise reliance a lot of verticals in which he can move it but it is not possible that is like a mother to an organization so if a mother goes out of the home uh, or out of the office i won't say a home otherwise people would see me as a uh, kind of a person who don't uh, have that positive mindset so it's working woman it's not like that when i see if a mother moves out of the caring area of their the children goes for the loss this is what happens uh, in the hr itself yeah i completely agree and uh, most definitely these are certainly the pros and cons and we can totally relate to it at the cx and chro levels uh, so th- thank you for sharing that um but what do you think is the right medium to scout for laterals to fill the talent gaps in the organizations see first of all you should engage your activities in such a manner that people should come to you you don't have to go to people to ask whether you are looking for a job or not i see a lot of hr calls me in a day uh, generally they are a junior hr so they might not be knowing about all this tricks and techniques the moment they will pass another tenure in the industry they will uh, knowing much better than me as well uh, the reason behind this generation which is coming in the new hr are pretty smarter than us Uh, I can say, and I am feeling proud of that as well, because new HR becomes smarter, will make us also a lot of smarter way from the traditional HR. So, this particular people, those who are working with uh, this kind of a thing, they call and they randomly ask people. Why to ask people? Why not to make a company like that? The people should come and apply at your company or any company as such. So, there are a lot of tricks and techniques uh, people are using. Some are giving bikes, uh, some are offering cars, some are giving e-shops. just to attract but real attractment is not this is what i personally think the real attractment is not just particular monetary things it is something which uh, people have to understand that first of all they need a mental peace i'm giving somebody a car and telling them to drive around 40 km instead of that give a work from home that's one of the best ways more than happy so this kind of a thing we have to produce Yeah, yeah. Something which is out of the box, or uh, we all have to think and uh, make our company something where people want really want to work with them. Uh, example, I can give you. Uh, Cred has made uh, in this four five years of journey. I see personally, uh, Kushal and everyone uh, working and the way they have worked. Everybody, a new pressure to ask them, and he wants to work. but not in the same case with any other startup company or very few startup company across it because they created such thing where everybody wants to learn and earning is a second part everybody wants in a small industry but they can learn about that product and they can build a competitive product correct correct but do you think uh, referrals work for lateral hiring more Uh, I would like to understand that perspective as well. Yes, uh, referral hire is the most important when it comes to lateral hiring. The reason is uh, those who are referring a particular person knows much better than even the HR what is the requirement. Let's say, for example, if I tell you the EWS specialist, if we need, 
then only the AWS people have that particular network in the industry. HR might not be having that. HR can have only the HR network. So if I am have I want an any assistant HR, I can get in just uh, 24 hours because we are in that same market. We know which HR is going to shift when and what salary they want and what they are having. We know each and inside. A similar way in similar industry, they guys are so much smart. They know each about each and everything. And when your team is supporting you for hiring, you are at the top of it. It's not about referral. Every company is giving you. Maybe the terms and conditions and things are different, but everybody is giving you a different thing. So if you are getting people from referral, you can eighty uh, percent like of your cost is saved, and time is the biggest cost which has been saved. Right. Maximum right. hiring from referral if it is happening consistently. It has been not proven by me, but one of the greatest statistics HR uh, people across the world this is when you hire with a lateral hiring any person with a referral, 80% chances are there they will be sticking for the organization for the next two to three years, oh, or until and unless that first person has moved out. If I am referring someone and I only moved out of the company, definitely the person will. Go. That is a concept also. It is also a positive. Got it. And of course, and we have so many smart tools for making our you know hiring life easy as yes. well. If I talk about the industry perspective, so what do you think an intelligent hiring module integrated into an HRMS suit like let's say you know work can streamline the talent pool and pipeline as an aid to HRs for hiring laterals at the right time and cost? Yes. Uh, if a tool. Which is generally it is called an ATS system, Application Direct Management System, which is also Unava uh, is also making a product like that, and I'm very hopeful to see that that will help our life easy. But what is happening uh, when any product is coming in the market or anyone is having every HR is using some of the other software in ATS, or at the end of the day it's Excel. If those companies who cannot afford that particular thing at the end of the day they use Excel. But in case if there is a training is given by the company to the HR, especially to the uh, HR who are into non-tech industry, because we are into tech, so we know how the product is being developed, how it is being executed. But those who are into a non-tech industry, if the training is given, or those who it came from, uh, like I am born and brought up into, I can say, IT industry. So those who I came from different industry to IT, they need a uh, ATS training as well. So if Unova can give us that support as well for training, then the HR life is more than easy. True, very true, very true. Um, Sayesh, uh, what are some suggestions that you would like to share with the laterals uh, that who are listening to our podcast today? Uh, regarding, uh, you are asking about the executive part, or you are asking about the HR side. All of it. Uh, I mean, I would just like to know, like your See, overall uh, perspective on speaking, everybody who's listening. I say, uh, lateral moves can be done or should be done after three years of your first job. People, okay. what they are doing is they're joining a job. Uh, frankly speaking, I will name the company. I'm not afraid uh, of it. Let's say Infosys hired them at 3.624. So they try to shift themselves into some another startup company at 7 to 8 lakh just after six months. Oh. That should not be there. Uh, 100% hike is always available in IT if you have skills. That will be always for life long. But those who had given you the chance for the first time and nobody else is giving, you should be committed at least with the ethical point of view for next two to three years. And right. whenever you are going, don't try to coach people to that particular company because uh, that will not make benefit for anyone. Uh, that's the one thing. Lateral move is good, uh, but whenever you're, you're moving, you should follow the ethics of HR. So HR uh, is moving, I already told you in this podcast only priorly. When HR is moving 30% to 40% staff will be moved out of in the first month and in the next six months, 80% of the staff will be moved out to another same company where the HR is going. So any HR who is going to even the competitor, he should not take the data. He should not do coaching from his last company. I can understand being in HR, it's very difficult because you know whatever you know in this 5-10 years is from your last company. It is a family beyond your family. So this office family is nowadays more important uh, or yeah, equally because important. Because you spend most say. hours there with them. Yes, 
uh, we spend most hours over here we share a lot of things over here which Absolutely. we don't share even at home uh, we learn over here entire day we will be over here and night we just go to sleep at 8 hours or 10 hours in our home and another 3 to 4 hours to sleep so maximum time the day you are here so if you are taking this kind of advantage from that people are moving to another organization with you or after you that will hamper your uh, last come and i have seen companies falling uh, because of the hr or whatever happened see uh, we are bound to make mistakes we are bound to make uh, problems uh, we also have a discussion descriptions with bosses we also have grudges with the company but the grudges should not be go in a cause with somebody's business get so in the corporate it is very well saying that a loss of one is a profit of another So it should not be there. Uh, this is business, but business also have some ethics. Uh, if somebody is applying to you after going to the next company, you definitely take an interview. I don't mind in that, or even we take the interview. But don't uh, put in a way that okay, uh, you come from tomorrow, I will pay you double, and forget about that. Take a proper notice period. Whenever you are leaving the thing, if somebody has to leave, they have to respect the notice period. Yeah. Yeah, so this you might it seems that I am speaking from the employer side, but the employer also have to think that today you are an employee, tomorrow you will be also an employee. So when you will become employer, you will also think the same what the employee is thinking. Absolutely, absolutely. These are uh, young guys are not understanding, uh, especially that uh, importance of discipline. this period is something where you can build your relationship instead of spoiling absolutely them. agree yeah 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 absolutely so, agree uh, in the my last organization where i was working i was eight years with the bomb when i was leaving it was a tears on my uh, like director's face it was tears even on my office boys eyes i moved out because the company got closed that's a secondary thing but whenever i I'm still in connect with that people. Even if I'm traveling to UAE, I will be visiting their home. It is not the relation up to the office. In the journey of eight years, we have that relation. Uh, I spend two days in their home. I live nice. It's like a family. True, true. None of my Zoban employee has ever even tried applying over here, or uh, I approached that them for working. New company, new people. Very simple. Right, right, right. Thanks a lot, Yash. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure with all the very, very meaningful insights that you shared with us. We are very grateful for your time uh, that you've dedicated to sharing uh, all these opinions and thoughts on lateral hiring and their moves for career growth. And uh, we would also be recording this version and sharing across our social media handles so that more and more people can, um, uh, you know, listen to your thoughts and relate to them and implement them in their careers as well. Let's stay connected for future collaborations and continue to inspire others together. Thank you once again for being a part of this incredible episode, Yash, and we look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you.